I applied to the STP for a couple of reasons. So um, I was looking for a program that was a combination of clinical work with some continuing academic uh, experience. And the STP really ticked both those boxes. Um, and it was actually an even better fit than I anticipated when applying. Three most challenging parts. Uh, one is definitely the endurance it takes. It's three uh, very busy years back to back, um, so it takes quite a bit to kind of get through all of that. Two is probably being self-directed. It's quite different from other programs in that it relies quite heavily on you being organized, um, being kind of in the right, the right mindset for using your time well, using your time kind of sensibly. Um, and then I think the third one is just knowing your limits, um, knowing that at the end you don't need to know absolutely everything, but knowing kind of what you need to know by the end. Uh, Work-life balance can be tricky. I think the biggest thing is kind of being conscious of your limitations. So making sure you have set time to rest every week. So I take Sundays off. Um, knowing kind of where you need to be at different points in the program. So marking out where your trajectory, where you'd like your trajectory to be, and then making sure you stick to that. So that if things start to fall apart, if you feel like you're not catching up as much as you'd expect, um, having early conversations with your training officer and making sure you can match what you need to there. Top tip, definitely keep going. Um, it's, it feels like a real grind sometimes. Um, there are real highlights. Sometimes you're working with a patient and it's just a really encouraging experience. Sometimes you, something finally clicks and you understand um, a concept that you've been struggling with, but other times it feels like a real grind where it feels like progress is very slow. So definitely make sure you just keep putting in the time, you'll get there. After the STP, I would like to long term run a clinical research laboratory. Um, so a mixture of primarily research work with some hands-on clinical experience. To get to that point, I need some more training, so either a more traditional PhD option or something like the Higher Scientist Specialization Training Program. I was quite involved with my training plan. Um, so I've set, sat down a, a couple of times with my training officer and kind of revised where we're at. Um, particularly when things like my research project came up that required a bit of an overhaul in terms of what we were looking to do moving forward, how my days would be allocated. Um, so it's been an evolving process that I've always had quite a strong hand in and I've had a really good training officer who's been quite flexible and willing to work with me on that. It comes in kind of spurts and stops. So there are periods where I'll get a number of competencies done, things really link together and I have the time uh, to write the competencies I need to. And then that comes with stretches where other clinical demands kind of push competencies to the side. So it's not always a steady competency a week or two competencies a week, but sometimes it's five or six over a two week period and then you know one or two over the next two weeks. Um, so it's just keeping that big picture in mind of where do I need to be at the end and making sure that my progress is getting there.